Welcome to Louisiana Football TV Magazine. I'm your host, Lee Burkeen. Tonight, you're watching Louisiana Football TV Magazine. We've got great guests, as usual, from our local high schools. Silliman High School head coach is here tonight, T.J. Davis, and also the head coach at Southern Lab High School, uh, Nick Mitchell, his first year at Southern Lab. Um, the Kittens of Baton Rouge, Silliman, uh, we'll talk a little bit about them, and their recruits are here tonight. We also have uh, a call-in, possibly, from Shreveport, from the head coach at Woodlawn, not Baton Rouge Woodlawn, but Woodlawn of Shreveport, uh, known for Terry Bradshaw. That's where Terry Bradshaw went to high school. We'll be back in just a moment. You're watching Louisiana Football TV Magazine. sports injury can put you out of action. But your game's not over because you drafted the right team. At the Bone and Joint Clinic, you're treated by experts in sports medicine, experienced therapists and staff, and the latest equipment and services in a comfortable environment where you're treated like family because we want to see you suit up again. The Bone and Joint Clinic. Hi, I'm Joe Martin, president of ITI Technical College. And for over 35 years, ITI has been a leader in technical education here in Baton Rouge. ITI's medical division offers hands-on training in three new medical programs, medical billing and coding, medical management, and medical assistant. ITI offers flexible class schedules, and financial aid is available. So let ITI help you discover a better life. Call now or go online. It's that simple. ITI for a better life. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat everyone from long drivers to unlucky drivers. Now with seven locations to serve you. If your doctor recommends physical therapy, ask for Peak Performance by name. The physical therapy choice of golfers, injured drivers, and everyone in between. If you're looking for the gear you need in the colors you bleed, then make your first stop Co-op. Much more than just a bookstore. Co-op has the largest selection of LSU merchandise for the whole family, including tailgating supplies, LSU clothing and accessories, great gifts, and a whole lot more. Stop in or order online for the best prices on art supplies, school supplies, and textbooks. The Co-op Bookstore, where you'll always find the gear you need in the colors you bleed. As a designer here at Bassett, I've helped all kinds of people find the custom furniture they really want. Beautiful fabrics and leathers? Got them. A choice of finishes? Sure. The best color combos? No problem. Whatever you're looking for, I can help you find it, and we'll have it ready in 30 days. Custom furniture from Bassett. It's a great way to make your home your own. Check out Papa John's Pizza, uh, a great sponsor of our TV show. They supply all our food for our guests, our staff, and uh, it's good pizza. Uh, check it out and order your pizza this week uh, for ball games. I know that's my favorite food item on the weekends to get pizza. Check Papa John's out. Uh, you can't go wrong eating pizza during a football game. <laughs> on Friday night, Saturday night, Thursday night, you got Wednesday night football. Uh, I had a chance to talk to Carl Dunbar recently with the Minnesota Vikings, the D-line coach, and he told me that his son has a game this Tuesday night and then next Wednesday night so they can beat the snow that's coming into Minnesota. You know, we talk about the hurricanes here in Louisiana. They have the snow problem, and that's why a lot of guys play hockey in Minnesota. <laughs> coaches, uh, we've got two great coaches on tonight. Nick Mitchell, uh, first year coach at Southern Lab. Uh, this is not his first year in coaching. Uh, former Southern Jaguar baseball player, first baseman. Uh, coached at East Ascension for a long time with Coach Beasley, who I knew back in the day at Salmon, and just found out today, I didn't even know Coach Beasley coach was on the staff, like you told me, at Salmon right now. He's yeah, he was, uh, he was one of the gentlemen who was instrumental in kind of getting me where I am right now. Uh, right after the hurricane, a lot of, you know, programs were looking to build. A lot of kids were, you know, displaced. And, and um, my family was one of those families that uh, was affected by the hurricane. And so uh, I was in St. John Parish coming from Orleans Parish as a coach. 
and uh, got a phone call from Coach Beasley, and uh, <clears throat> he knew Coach Kadar, and so you know it was a, okay. it was sort of a scramble, but uh, I'm just fortunate to be able to coach. You're from Laplace, though, right? You're That's from right. Laplace. From Laplace, home of East St. John High School and St. Charles, and yeah, kind of Riverside, kind of in a way, huh? Kind of absolutely. Uh, coach T.J. Davis, head coach from Silliman. High school. If you don't know about Silliman, I actually went to Silliman when I was really little, years <laughs> ago. Uh, it's past Zachary, going toward Mississippi, but it's it's a good school. It's a great academic school. They've got good football teams. Kenny Edenfield, who's at Troy, who's one of the top coaches at the University of Troy, uh, is a former quarterback at Silliman. Uh, I know that because. He was tough to play uh, football in the mornings when we were young kids, and uh, he was a great athlete at Silliman. You know, we got another great athlete that left Silliman who's now at West Virginia calling the offense, Shannon Dawson, quarterback at Silliman. Ended up going to, uh, I think it was Wingate in the NAI program, then moved to um, up through the ranks. He was at Stephen F. last year. Got the call for uh, West Virginia. He's calling the plays for West Virginia's offense this year. Now, now, TJ, you, this is your second year as coach, it's football head coach. coach. Yes, sir. You, this is not your second year at the school. No, sir. Been there six years uh, as an assistant. All those six years. Um, last two, I've got the call to be the head coach. I'm trying to make the most of it. Went to Redemptress High School. Graduated from Redemptress in 1999. Yes, sir. Played football under Sid Edwards, right? Yes, sir. And wrestled under uh, Coach Mastretta. Um, but you're from Clinton. From Clinton. And I wanted you to come on tonight because people are watching this in New Orleans and Lafayette and Baton Rouge, but you are not in the LHSA. You're in your own league. I mean, you're Correct. with the Central Privates, the uh, Oak Forest. Yes, sir. The Prairie View is a Monroe. Right. Uh, it's a private league. Tell everybody about the league. It's, uh, it's, a Missis it's the MAIS. It's the Mississippi Associated Independent Schools. Um, you know, it's smaller schools, um, not probably all better off playing in MAS instead of playing against the, the LHSA schools um, competition wise. But I tell you what, these, those programs have come a long way in the last few years and um, we've got a lot of talented kids playing in that program. Stephen Ridley came out of Ridley Ridley came out of Trinity a few years ago. Um, Which is know, in Mississippi. Right. Drew Messina came out of Oak Forest. He's now playing at Southeastern. Um, you know, another kid, uh, R.J. Fleming came out of Trinity. He's at Arkansas State. Um, there's a lot of good talent. There was also a defensive end that came out of Trinity that was an All-American at Tennessee a few years ago. Um, big defensive end that played about eight years. The name will come to me before the show is over. Um, Nick, you took over a Southern Lab program with history. A lot of tradition. Absolutely. Um, known for a lot of athletes in all sports to go D1, 1AA, Subdivision 1. That's the new name for 1AA, mm -hmm. but you, you, like I said, you've been in coach, you played baseball, but you've coached a lot of football at East Ascension. Yeah, coach. Um, mm -hmm. What's the transition been like to, to go to, from Ascension Parish, you're from Laplace, mm -hmm. you're familiar with Southern because you played baseball at Southern, so it wasn't that big of a transition for you, right, to be? Mm -hmm. No, it actually wasn't. A, uh, it was actually a smooth transition for me, uh, kind of ironic because my student teaching when I was at Southern University um, was at the, at the lab school. Um, being at, at, from Laplace, I, I actually coached at East St. John uh, for three years, but the tradition, as you said, um, it's like no other. I mean, 64 football players in the past six years um, in college, 42 in the last four years. We got seven guys who, who are gonna go in the NFL draft, you know, five All-Americans in the past few years, I mean, the tradition is like no other. We've had Chad Jones on, uh, New Orleans native, who I'm really, I'm, I'm happy has come back, is, is doing really good to go back with the Giants. Uh, I know he's gonna run that 4-5, 4-6-40, and um, you know, Frank Alexander, uh, the defensive end for the Oklahoma Sooners, who's ranked number one in some polls and some eyes, he's gonna go in the first or second round from Southern Lab. He was a teammate of Chad Jones. Um, you know, you can go back to several, several players. Leonard Harris that played at Southern, a defensive tackle. Um, so I could name about 100, but we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to have more with our coaches. Uh, feel free to give us a call. The number will be coming up 
uh, as the show goes on, the number to call, to give us a call. If you have any questions, you want to talk high school football, we're going to take a break. We'll be back in just a moment. Can buying furniture really be fun? Sure. Come into Bassett and an in-store designer like me will be happy to help. Just tell me a little about yourself and what you're looking for. And then I'll give you a bunch of great ideas. And our design help is free. Who could say no to that? Come into Bassett and discover the easy, affordable way to make a beautiful home. State Farm agents Bill Barkus and Steve Ward are there for you. Call today. Louisiana Office Supply is the largest stocking office product store in the South with a new 23,000 square foot showroom. For over 72 years, Louisiana Office Supply has met the demand for quality office products competitively priced with an extensive selection and knowledgeable staff. From office furniture to post-it notes, there are supplies for every part of your office. Louisiana Office Supply, generation after generation, exceptional service since 1936. Arrive to the game in style in a new or certified Ferretti family vehicle. Jaguar, with timeless elegance, is the sportiest, sexiest luxury automobile on the road. Land Rover is rough enough for all your hunting needs, yet refined enough to deserve valet parking. Mazda will connect you with your inner driver at a whole new level of intensity. Remember, it's not whether you win or lose, it's how you get to the game. Freddy, Jaguar, Land Rover, Mazda, Baton Rouge, New Orleans. Have you made the right call? I made the right call. It's easy to do. Just touch the tones. I made the right call. If you want to talk to the pros, you've got to make the right call. I made the right call. It's not that kind of call. I'm talking about the professionals at Gage Telephone. From excellent products like Toshiba to great service after the sale, make the right call. Gage Telephone, 753-4243. A sports injury can put you out of action. But your game's not over because you drafted the right team. At the Bone and Joint Clinic, you are treated by experts in sports medicine, experienced therapists and staff, and the latest equipment and services in a comfortable environment where you're treated like family because we want to see you suit up again. The Bone and Joint Clinic. Check out LAFootballMagazine.com. You can still get the preview issue at Barnes & Noble in Baton Rouge, Lafayette, Mandeville, and Shreveport. And we do a story every day or every other day on a recruit. Uh, I just set up today, you'll love this, the public that's watching, if you're a mom and dad, a grandparent, aunt, uncle, sister, brother, or another coach, um, we have profiled over 100 kids already for this year, starting back in May. I've got 600 more kids to profile. That's 700 kids that could go D1 to D3. That's amazing. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some video footage where I'm actually going to tape and do the dialogue on the website. And I'll have footage on some of the kids that we don't write about. So if you don't get the write-up, then you'll get a footage uh, of me talking over your, uh, your plane, uh, your top two or three plays. So that's how we're going to fit in all 700 kids. That's quite a task. But I've always believed promote everybody that's, that can play college ball whether it's D1, 1AA, D2, D3, NAI, junior college, wherever. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of talent in the state, guys. And Coach Nick, you've, you've seen that growing up in Laplace and TJ being from Baton Rouge. You can only have so many go D1, but if you look in the NFL, and I'm going to bring up the Saints, 70% of the players in the NFL on rosters are not D1 players. So if you're a teenager and you're watching the show tonight, you don't have to go Division I 
to go to the NFL. They will find you. And there, Sean Nelson is a great example, speaking of East Ascension, Coach. I remember when Big Sean was at EA, he was a wide out at 6'5", 210. He was very lean. Now he's 250, runs a 4'5 for the Buffalo Bills. Went in the third round, right? Well, he grew into that when he signed with Southern Miss, and he became an all-conference receiver at Southern Miss in Conference USA, but he was not offered by a lot of the big programs. That's correct. And look what Sean Nelson's been able to accomplish because of hard work, determination, in the weight room, you know they'll say, bigger, faster, and stronger. Sean left high school at 210, and at 6'5", that's, that's skinny, okay? But he could run. And we are talking about tight ends a minute ago on the break. Name your top tight ends. Uh, my favorite tight end, um, Tony Gonzalez, I think, TJ, you mentioned him, right. but uh, the best tight end in the, in the league is with the Saints, right, Coach? Absolutely. He is an absolute animal. <laughs> so much of an animal, you almost heard his coach the other day. But uh, he's done a marvelous job up to this point. He's had, I think, four straight 100-yard gains uh, up to this point, and he's a, he's a guy who can stretch the field for him and uh, he can give him that fourth or fifth option in the passing game. What's amazing is that he played college basketball until his senior year at the University of Miami in Coral Gables. Did not play football till he was a senior. Jimmy Graham, six foot six, 230 in college, graduated 250, now he's about 260 and runs about a four or five. Yeah, it's amazing what what a quarterback can do when he can just throw it around and a guy's able to get up and get that ball no matter yeah. what. That catch radius is unbelievable for and Jimmy And doesn't Gray. he catch it just like a wide out? I mean, most tight ends that I'll watch, they stumble around, they're good blockers. You know, they're just not polished catchers. They're not, right. They don't have those mm -hmm. hands like Tony Gonzalez, like Jason Witten of the Dallas Cowboys. Um, Gates, Antonio Gates, who we, we mentioned him with the Chargers, mm -hmm. getting up there in age though. You know, Phillip Rivers, they've had some great seasons together. But San Diego looks a lot different to me without Tomlinson, without another little running back, Darren Sproles. He's now with the Saints. Wow, he's done some big things with the Saints. He's come through in a great way as special teams for the Saints. He's a spark. 5'6", 200 pounds. Wasn't heavily recruited. Now, we're talking about kids that weren't heavily recruited. Went to Kansas State. Mm -hmm. They signed him. He weighed about 170. Wow. He's 200 in the pros. Yep. But he's 5'6. So, I mean, there are exceptions to the rule. Kevin Falk, 5'8, 210, New England Patriots, will be one of the all time leading guys in the organization with the number of catches for a running back, which is, which is amazing. Kevin's sitting out right now with a knee injury, but he'll be mm -hmm. back, I'm um, hearing, for the playoffs. Guys, uh, can the Patriots win it this year? Well, you know, you talk about you talk about under the radar. What about Wes Welker? Where was he five, six years ago? You know, he's he's a leading uh, receiver for the Patriots right now. He's uh, Brady's go-to man. I got a great story, a quick one for the public and for you coaches. Uh, you know who recruited Wes Welker to Texas Tech as a walk-on? Coach Dykes, head coach at Louisiana Tech. Coach Dykes. Dykes. He signed him and didn't want to sign him as a walk-on at 5'8", 160. Now he's 200 pounds, 5'8", and he's a rock. We got a caller on line one. Let's go to, I believe, uh, who's that caller, Jimmy? Reginald. Reginald. Reginald? Yeah. Do you have a question for me or the coaches? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. You're, you're live on TV. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to um, find out about the kid. Trying to find out about the kid, Devontae Williams. Okay, St. John High School in Plaquemine? Yes, sir. W what do you want to know about Devontae? Which schools are recruiting? What do you want to know about Devontae? Well, you know, currently, uh, I haven't checked with Devontae in the last three, four weeks, but I do know that state schools were looking at him, and I think he's a very good player. But again, there's a lot of good players in the state. He's a 6'1, 175 pound receiver slash running back slash DB. And he's been the mainstay of St. John's program for four years. Um, they've had some good players. They've also got a defensive end, Nathan Vashon, who's 6'4", 250. He's also a tight end. But those two kids, I think, are uh, D1 players. Now, you know, will they go D1? I don't know. 
And you know, I'm gonna let my high school coaches comment, but not everybody who plays D1 gets a D1 offer in the end. No, you're absolutely right about that. The, the biggest thing, uh, I think, is that when guys have toughness and those guys have the willpower and they want to get to the next level, there usually isn't anything that's going to stop them from right. getting there. There's so many schools around the country, in the state of Louisiana, in the South, that are going to give an opportunity to a young man who just has the heart and wants to do it. We're going to take a break, but you know another guy that was, was lightly recruited in the Hall of Fame now, John Randall, defensive end, Minnesota Vikings, went to Texas A&M, Kingsville. Not Texas A&M, but Kingsville, D3 school. All-time leading sack leader for the Vikings with over 90 sacks. Wasn't recruited, D1. We'll be back in just a moment. If you're looking for the gear you need in the colors you bleed, then make your first stop Co-op. Much more than just a bookstore, Co-op has the largest selection of LSU merchandise for the whole family, including tailgating supplies, LSU clothing and accessories, great gifts, and a whole lot more. Stop in or order online for the best prices on art supplies, school supplies, and textbooks. The Co-op Bookstore, where you'll always find the gear you need in the colors you bleed. State Farm agents Bill Barkas and Steve Ward are there for you. Call today. Hi, I'm Joe Martin, president of ITI Technical College. And for over 35 years, ITI has been a leader in technical education here in Baton Rouge. Our commitment is to help people just like you attain a better life through technical training. Get hands-on real-life training in one of nine career areas with flexible class schedules and financial aid is available. So let ITI help you discover a better life. Call now or go online. It's that simple. ITI for a better life. Have you made the right call? I made the right call. It's easy to do. Just touch the tones. I made the right call. If you want to talk to the pros, you've got to make the right call. I made the right call. It's not that kind of call. I'm talking about the professionals at Gage Telephone. From excellent products like Toshiba to great service after the sale, make the right call. Gage Telephone, 753-4243. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat everyone from Grand Slam hitters to grandparents. Now with seven locations to serve you. If your doctor recommends physical therapy, ask for Peak Performance by name. The physical therapy choice of baseball players, grandparents, and everyone in between. Check out college and high school notes. The notes tonight, I'm going to talk about all the colleges in Louisiana. ULL Raging Cajuns, Louisiana Lafayette. They're having the best football season ever, in my opinion. Nelson Stokely, in the early 80s, I remember when they had Jake DeLome at quarterback. They had Brandon Stokely at wide receiver. You remember those two names, they played forever. Uh, now you can add Coach Hutspeth to the legendary names as a first year coach. Louisiana Tech, Coach Dykes, having a tough year, but they have a freshman quarterback out of Los Angeles, California. That's 5'11", that's breaking a bunch of records. Nickel State's having a tough season. Southern. I'm pulling for Stump Metro. He's lost two close games in the last two weeks. LSU, number one in the country. They need to beat Alabama in two weeks, and, and they have to beat Auburn this week. And Tulane. Um, sad to report that you know Bob Toledo resigned today at Tulane. I think he's a great man and a great coach. He didn't have a lot of material to work with. He took the job over right after the hurricane. And you know, it's hard to recruit after a hurricane in a city like that and to bring kids in from all over the country when Tulane recruits all over. And I think the next coach at Tulane is going to win right away because of all the talent that he stockpiled from New Orleans. They have some phenomenal players from New Orleans, five of them from St. Augustine High School alone that have pro futures. So um, it's a great year in, in football in Louisiana. And I also want to mention Bradley Del Pivoto. The head coach at Northwestern State, the Demons, they beat Southeastern.
They've had two wins in a row. They lost LSU early in, in SMU, but this is a program on the rise. They barely lost to the McNeese State Cowboys, who's having a tough season for their standards, by the way. And Southeastern Coach Lucas, I'm hoping he can get some wins late in the season because they have talent. Just got to get the team. I don't know. It, it, it's just it doesn't. It just didn't mix yet. You know, coaches. You know that. You coach as hard as you can, yep. and sometimes it just doesn't. The teams just don't have chemistry. Right. Coach, you've been around that probably before. Yeah, a, a lot of times, you know, you got to find the right mix. You got to find your leaders early, and your leaders have to be the ones that, you know, provide the spark. Provide. That, that one thing that sometimes coaches can't give, which is the camaraderie between the brothers. Mm -hmm. um, and they all have to, have to be able to play together and also have to be able to withstand some of those tough times. TJ, you've seen that at Redemptress when you played ball and then right. at Silliman. You know, you know, your leaders have to lead. You yeah. know? They got to lead in the right direction, too. You always have leaders on your team, just mm -hmm. which way is the team going to go? Um, you know, at Redemptress, you know, we had a great group of seniors my senior year and you know we were able to get to the playoffs for the first time in a long time and you know going to a smaller school like Silliman and you know, we've got some great leaders you just got to make sure they go in the right direction you know what I've always noticed in college ball especially people go oh they have a bunch of seniors they're gonna be really good not necessarily sometimes those seniors are a little laid back they've won a bunch of games they don't have the sometimes they don't have that extra drive and sometimes these young teams like Tim Tebow, for instance, when he was a freshman with Chris Leak, people said, oh, they can't win. Chris Leak's not having a good year. This Tebow kid comes off the bench. They beat Oklahoma for a national championship. They win two in a row. You know, so today's day, you can have a freshman come in, like I said, with the right mindset, work ethic, to come in and help a program. And I think Oklahoma's kind of that way. You know, Bradford is with the Rams, right. and they have Landry Jones. They don't miss a beat. But I don't think Oklahoma can play with LSU or Alabama. Guys, your comments on I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, I've watched Oklahoma only once. I've seen LSU every time they were on TV. Um, but I don't think that they can match them speed for speed. That defense of LSU is uh, it's just too good. TJ? That, that secondary of LSU, I mean, those, ball, those guys are ball hawks. They are everywhere. Uh, the D-line, I mean, you know, if you give – if you give a little bit of coverage, that D-line's all over them. I mean, you got guys that run four, six, forties on the D-line. That's pretty impressive. What's going to get Oklahoma is that in the Big 12, I was watching the Kansas game the other night against Oklahoma, and they gave the receivers 25 yards off the line. And I mean, Brawls was open for bombs. That In the SEC, you're not going to be that open. And they don't have a great big back with power like a Spencer Ware, like a Trent Superman Richardson, right, from Alabama. And they're not as physical, but you know, Stoops is a heck of a coach. Yeah. And he always puts out these number one pick wide receivers and quarterbacks. They don't have a Tommy Harris either on D-line, you know, who, who was a dominant player when he played for I like Frank Alexander, your I, former I guy. <laughs> Frank's really their best D-lineman. Yeah, he is. He's the anchor of that D-line. Yeah, and he's been doing it a long time also. He's been doing it a long time. Um, Guys, uh, Coach, talk about your game this week at Southern Lab. You play Christian Life. That's correct. Right. The, uh, the game this week against Christian Life, I believe that both teams sort of match up. Uh, they both kind of built the same. Um, our team has, has really been focused this week. Um, we know that there's a lot at stake, and uh, our guys are going to be ready for the challenge. You're 5-2 and two as the head coach first year. We got, we got a caller on line one, Corey. Corey, do you have a question? Hello? Yes, Corey, you're on live on TV. You have, yeah, you have a question? Yes, Corey? I guess Corey is, uh, he's out. He's gone. He gone. Call back. Ask us that question, whatever the question was about. Was it about Jarrell Richardson, their, little, their running back at Christian Life? Well, I know Coach is not. Uh, he's probably not sleeping good at night, wondering how he's going to stop this little running back. Maybe Jarrett Thomas will be the guy who's in the audience tonight, your linebacker. We, we, we Cameron have, Brown. Absolutely. We have, we have a, a plan in place. Uh, we just, we're looking forward to the challenge. Uh, our guys are looking forward to the challenge, and, uh, and we'll be ready come Friday. Uh, TJ, your league, a lot of people, again, they're not familiar with these teams, but tell them who you're playing this week. And you're, you're 
far along. You're in week. Tell them what week you're in. Is we're in week 10 of our season. We have an open week this week, and we're going to play for uh, a share of the district title in two weeks against uh, our rival, Centerville Academy. In Mississippi. In Mississippi. Which yes, is sir. only 20 miles away. Yes, sir, about 25 miles away. And some of the kids in Clinton go where also? Yeah, we've, Centerville. We've had, we've had <laughs> kids from the surrounding areas that are very talented that could be a part of our program decide to go be a part of that program instead. And our kids are anxious. A lot, lot at stake. A lot of stake. Uh, we'll be back in just a moment. Uh, we're going to take a break. Uh, we're going to have the Carlos Holmes, the head football coach from Woodlawn of Shreveport, not Woodlawn of Baton Rouge, that'll be calling in. He coached Josh Downs at Bastrop. A little trivia. He was D line coach at Bastrop for several years. We'll be back in just a moment. Louisiana Office Supply is the largest stocking office product store in the South with a new 23,000 square foot showroom. For over 72 years, Louisiana Office Supply has met the demand for quality office products competitively priced with an extensive selection and knowledgeable staff. From office furniture to post-it notes, there are supplies for every part of your office. Louisiana Office Supply, generation after generation, exceptional service since 1936. Have you made the right call? I made the right call. It's easy to do. Just touch the tones. I made the right call. If you want to talk to the pros, you've got to make the right call. I made the right call. It's not that kind of call. I'm talking about the professionals at Gage Telephone. From excellent products like Toshiba to great service after the sale, make the right call. Gage Telephone, 753-4243. Farm agents Bill Barkus and Steve Ward are there for you. Call today. As a designer here at Bassett, I've helped all kinds of people find the custom furniture they really want. Beautiful fabrics and leathers? Got them. A choice of finishes? Sure. The best color combos? No problem. Whatever you're looking for, I can help you find it, and we'll have it ready in 30 days. Custom furniture from Bassett. It's a great way to make your home your own. A sports injury can put you out of action. But your game's not over because you drafted the right team. At the Bone and Joint Clinic, you are treated by experts in sports medicine, experienced therapists and staff, and the latest equipment and services in a comfortable environment where you're treated like family because we want to see you suit up again. The Bone and Joint Clinic. Check out LAFootballMagazine.com. Again, check out the story that we do every day. I'll, we should have a new story tomorrow. An interesting story. I don't want to share it. It would be a surprise, but it's a story on a very famous person out of Shreveport. Uh, you can also, uh, we're going to go to the Recruit of the Week. Uh, we do a recruit every week, uh, a highlight, mini highlight, a couple of plays of one of the top players locally in the Baton Rouge or in the state. This is our Recruit of the Week sponsored by State Farm Insurance. The Recruit of the Week is sponsored by State Farm agents David Wilcox and Todd Husers. This is Brandon Johnson from Parkview, a fullback, six foot, 235. He's got feet, you know, like a Tommy Banks. Remember Tommy Banks at West Monroe, went to LSU. He's got Jacob Hester feet for a big old guy. I mean, he can run. That's him. Uh, Kenny Guillot loves this kid. I love him. He's a great player. He's missing the season because of a knee injury, but he's had his surgery. He's 100% almost again. He's a kid that's going to fall through the cracks, and he's a D1 player. And I want to make sure we show video on him because he's, he's missing the whole season, and he's got great work. He's got great hands, too, as a fullback. We want to go ahead and go to the phone lines. I have a friend of mine, a coach, who's done a wonderful job at Woodlawn and Shreveport, uh, Coach Holmes. 
Hey, what's going on, Lee? Man, I was bragging about you. We're on live TV. Uh, okay. It's, it's in New Orleans, Baton Rouge, and Lafayette, but I was bragging about the job and the turnaround with you going to Woodlawn and Shreveport from Bastrop High School and the great job you did with Bradshaw's, the D-line coach, because I, I told everybody here in the audience, that our coaches are here, that you were putting out D1, d linemen seems like every year at Bastrop. And you're a great teacher. You're one of the best D-line coaches in the state. And I always want to tell you that, and I, I know that you know that already, but I'm glad to have you on the show. I have a big compliment coming from you, Lee. That is a big compliment. I appreciate you. Um, De Carlos, before we talk about Woodlawn and the great things with your commitment to Sario Davis, who's committed to LSU, a defensive end, talk about the Auburn-LSU game, because I know that you're very close to D. Benton, who they call D. Benton, D'Angelo Benton in Auburn, and Reuben Randall, who's had a good year for LSU, he's, he's become the go-to guy. Is that a big game for you to watch, two of your former uh, football students of the game when you were at Bastrop? Oh, uh, that's an extremely big game to watch. You know, last week I watched D'Angelo, he got his first touchdown of the year against uh, Florida. You know, he called me Monday night, said, Coach, I got me one. I said, yeah. I told him, be ready for those Bayou Bengals. You know, Reuben's going to be ready and he's going to see Josh. But it's a real big ball game. You know, the people of Bass are ready to see that ball game because they'll see those two, you know, finally getting, the, you know, the, the publicity that they're supposed to be getting, the playing time that they're supposed to be getting, go head to head. So that'll be a big ball game in the North Louisiana area. Coach, you coached Josh Downs. A lot of people, I want to let them know that you did. You were his D line coach at Bastrop. How proud are you of Josh Downs, uh, number 77 at LSU right now, being your former oh. player at Bastrop? Oh, extremely proud. You know, Josh is one of those kids, you know, his mother had a terrible accident when he was uh, in junior high school, and he was kind of dealing with that, in, you know, in high school, you know, and uh, when he got to college, you know, he was, you know, he got some early success, played early, but then the injury bug started nagging him a little bit, so, you know, finally, he's finally healthy this year, and he's doing a great job for him in that rotation. Coach, mention your highly prized recruit, Desherio Davis, a big defensive end. Uh, tell everybody his current height and weight. He's the only Shreveport commitment to LSU right now. And number one, how much he means to you. I mean, all the players that you've been around on D-line, what is his upside in your opinion? I mean, Tashiro is a 4-4-8 kid, you know, and, you know, he can run a 4-4 flat. You know, he's a 6 3 and a half. 230, 233 right now, quickest first step I've ever seen in high school, you know, and might be in college. You know, he's probably one of the quickest kids I had, one of the fastest kids I ever had. You know, yeah, he's just extremely strong kid, you know, he's a very likable kid, coachable kid. You know, his, his mother, you know, she's doing a great job with him at home, but he's just a lovable kid. You know, that's the, the biggest thing I like about the Shiro. You know, we've been on the road ever since I got here. We've been going to Alabama, Cal, LSU, you know, you name it, we've been there. But, you know, all that, he's taking that with, all that with a grain of salt, and he still remains humble to this day, so he's a great kid. Coach, is he done in recruiting? Because, you know, there's talk that he might take more visits, but is he going to be an LSU Tiger in the end? Well, I foresee him being an LSU Tiger, but, I, you know, I still see him looking at, the, you know, the, the other schools, taking a you know, hard look because, like I tell him every day, I say, you have to make the, the best decision for you. You know, if you go to LSU, I support you. If you go to Cal, you know, which you'll never do, I support you. If you go to Timbuktu, I'm going to support you, Tashiro, <laughs> because I'm a Tashiro Davis fan, not uh, a particular university fan. So I'm just, you know, whatever he, decision he makes, I'm going to support him. And I got one more guy. You probably don't even know I could remember this, but you have a guy that that you coached at Bastrop, who's going to go in the first round, I think, in two years. D.D. Jones at Arkansas, who's 6'5", about 315, D-tackle. What do you think of D.D. Jones? Oh, uh, man, D.D. is a phenomenal kid. You know, I laugh, you know, me and Byron Dawson talk about it, you know, because we, uh, we broke their streak in uh, – in 07, and they came back and broke our streak in 08. And he was talking about D.D. the other day. He said, man, we couldn't block that kid, you know. And D.D.'s one of those kids, you know, when, when the merger happened, the consolidation with Delta High School in Bastrop, he came over there, and he couldn't even get in the stands. You know, we laughed at him. When I told Bradshaw one day, the next day, I said, well, Bradshaw, that kid's going to be special. And Bradshaw laughed at me, you know. <laughs> and uh, it turns out that, you know, D.D. was a special player for us. And, you know, he, he's a kid that, you know, 
if he, you know, take care of his business in the classroom, you know, and do what he has to do on the field. He's a kid that can go first round, you know, be a number one or number two defensive tackle next year. Coach, real quick, we're gonna we're gonna we got a few seconds left. Talk about who you're playing this Friday, and and your team's record right now at Woodlawn. Uh, right now we stand at one and six. You know, we've talked a lot of. A lot of uh, three close ball games with Bastrop. You know, we had them down on the ropes in the third quarter, and we let it go. And we lost the airline uh, late in the fourth quarter. And then, you know, we lost to Captain Street 24-25. You know, and, you know, people say, well, you crazy, you know, because you got this hard schedule. But I said, no, nah, because I want to put this program in a different perspective. I want to put it in a different light. You know, to play the, to be the best, you got to play the best. Right. So that's one thing we're doing this year. We're playing up and playing the big teams that we know that, you know, we we only have 38, you know, 38 kids. We only play 19, you know, and they yeah. have 98 to 100 kids. But I want to see the passion and the commitment that my kids have to being good. So that's you know that's what we're working on, building and, the culture, and changing the culture at the school. And you had a playoff team last year, but you lost eight or nine kids that signed last year. You got a young team this year, coach. Yeah, uh, yeah, we got five seniors. Good good luck to you for the rest of the season. We're going to mail you a copy of the show. All right, we're going to okay. bring you one of those shirts and, and mail that to you too. And and uh, I'll be seeing you soon. I know I visited you at Woodlawn last year. I came up and saw you, and I was glad to see you again. So. Well, every time you come up here, my principal say, there goes Lee. So uh, come <laughs> on again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Coach. Look, thank you for coming on tonight. We'll get, get with you really soon. Okay, appreciate Th you. Thank you, Coach. Uh, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to have some recruits on uh, very soon. We're, we're going to come back with two recruits. We've got four recruits to, that's still going to be on the show. The last two segments. We'll be back in just a moment. Opportunity here to tell you why you need to check out ITI Technical College. You can get your technical drafting degree in less than two years. You get specialized technical training, work in areas like architecture, manufacturing, construction, or engineering. Get hands-on training, skills for a competitive edge, flexible class schedules, and financial aid is available. Hi, I'm Joe Martin, president of ITI Technical College. Listen to Opportunity. Call ITI now or go online. It's that simple. We're your key to a better life. At ITI, Opportunity doesn't just knock, it rocks. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat everyone from Grand Slam hitters to grandparents. Now with seven locations to serve you. If your doctor recommends physical therapy, ask for Peak Performance by name. The physical therapy choice of baseball players, grandparents, and everyone in between. Arrive to the game in style in a new or certified Ferretti family vehicle. Jaguar, with timeless elegance, is the sportiest, sexiest luxury automobile on the road. Land Rover is rough enough for all your hunting needs, yet refined enough to deserve valet parking. Mazda will connect you with your inner driver at a whole new level of intensity. Remember, it's not whether you win or lose, it's how you get to the game. Freddy, Jaguar, Land Rover, Mazda, Baton Rouge, New Orleans. Louisiana Office Supply is the largest stocking office product store in the South with a new 23,000 square foot showroom. For over 72 years, Louisiana Office Supply has met the demand for quality office products competitively priced with an extensive selection and knowledgeable staff. From office furniture to post-it notes, there are supplies for every part of your office. Louisiana Office Supply, generation after generation, exceptional service since 1936. If you're looking for the gear you need in the colors you bleed, then make your first stop Co-op. Much more than just a bookstore, Co-op has the largest selection of LSU merchandise for the whole family, including tailgating supplies, LSU clothing and accessories, great gifts, and a whole lot more. Stop in or order online for the best prices on art supplies, school supplies, and textbooks. The Co-op Bookstore, where you'll always find the gear you need in the colors you bleed. Welcome back to Louisiana Football TV Magazine. Another quick scoop. I mentioned this earlier in our green room. That's not green, but it's a green room. We, uh, Alan Fanica, you know, who retired from LSU with the Cardinals, played many years, uh, played a little bit with the Jets, played many years in the NFL. He went to John Curtis High School prior to finishing high school in Houston, Texas, at Rosenberg High School in Houston. Uh, former John, they never list John Curtis by his name on the football card, guys. If you go by his football card, it just says Texas. 
Glad to have you tonight. Silliman, right? Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to let you introduce yourself one by one. Introduce yourself to Baton Rouge and New Orleans and Lafayette. I'm uh, J.Q. Austin, and I play wide receiver and outside linebacker, strong safety. You play the whole game, right? Yes, sir. Uh, and introduce yourself. It, um, I'm Austin Gale, and I play fullback and inside linebacker. Now, we'll ask both of you the same question, because a lot of people that watch us, they're not used to, you know, the private league, you know, Central Private and the schools you play, but tell everybody how many kids are on the team. What, about? We have 30. 30, 30, 30 which is a high number. Yeah, that's right? a, it's usually in the 20s, right? With some of the teams we played on. And, and who do you like to play the most? Is it Centerville? Centerville. <laughs> is it because yes, you know a lot of the kids? We, we know all of them pretty yes, well. Yes, sir. They should be going to Sullivan, right? A couple of them should be for sure. I hear a bus comes through, right? And yes, sir. Right? I mean, so what's your biggest joy with playing football at Silliman High School? Just the contact. Just you like get, to hit people? Just like to hit people. You like to catch the ball as a tight end, too? Definitely like to catch the ball. I got to catch a lot last year and then uh, suffered an injury in 7-on-7 this year and just kind of starting to get to play again. What about Central Private? Is that a rival, too? Yes, sir. We hadn't beat them in uh, seven years until this year, and we uh, beat them 14 nothing. Uh oh. I know a lot of Central Private people watch the show too. So yes, sir. Um, Stephen Ridley. If somebody was like that in the league, would that be fun? <laughs> we we played against him when in we eighth were in grade. eighth grade. Really? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stephen. Okay. Got hit Wasn't by. Wasn't fun. <laughs> Big kid in that league. Yes, sir. Um, and there's a kid committed from that school right now, right? Yes, sir. Tip McKenzie. He's committed to Vander Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt and SEC. Yes, sir. There's good players in this league. You know, people, they don't really uh, realize that, but there's a lot of good talent. Uh, I noticed that we talked off there that y'all play a lot of the special teams besides offense and defense. Yes, sir. Um, so you're really tired at the end of the game. Um, I would love to see a Zachary High School or Baker High School play a team from this league. You think that'll ever happen? No, sir. I, no? I doubt it. No? I mean, Zachary's close, right? Yes, sir. But their enrollment's probably three times that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look, guys, I appreciate you coming on the show. I've got T-shirts for you. And I know you'll have a big game coming up, right, with Centerville? Yes, sir. To yes, sir. make the playoffs, right? And uh, possibly win the whole state title, right, when it's said and done. Hopefully, uh, Good luck to you. Thank you. Okay. Thank I'm you. glad you could come on TV and promote Silliman High School. Okay. Yes, sir. Good luck. Thank We've you got, for having us. got Southern Lab recruits coming up. Maurice O'Quinn and Jarrett Thomas running back and a linebacker. And I know Jarrett and Maurice play offense too sometimes uh, and defense. So uh, we'll be back in just a moment with more Louisiana Football TV Magazine. State Farm agents Bill Barkus and Steve Ward are there for you. Call today. If you're looking for the gear you need in the colors you bleed, then make your first stop Co-op. Much more than just a bookstore, Co-op has the largest selection of LSU merchandise for the whole family, including tailgating supplies, LSU clothing and accessories, great gifts, and a whole lot more. Stop in or order online for the best prices on art supplies, school supplies, and textbooks. The Co-op Bookstore, where you'll always find the gear you need in the colors you bleed. Have you made the right call? I made the right call. It's easy to do. Just touch the tones. I made the right call. If you want to talk to the pros, you've got to make the right call. I made the right call. It's not that kind of call. I'm talking about the professionals at Gage Telephone. From excellent products like Toshiba to great service after the sale, make the right call. Gage Telephone, 753-4243. Hi, I'm Joe Martin, president of ITI Technical College. 
And for over 35 years, ITI has been a leader in technical education here in Baton Rouge. ITI's medical division offers hands-on training in three new medical programs, medical billing and coding, medical management, and medical assistant. ITI offers flexible class schedules, and financial aid is available. So let ITI help you discover a better life. Call now or go online. It's that simple. ITI for a better life. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat everyone from three-point shooters to three-piece suits, now with seven locations to serve you. If your doctor recommends physical therapy, ask for Peak Performance by name, the physical therapy choice of basketball players, businessmen, and everyone in between. Go to LAFootballMagazine.com. Check out our story of the day, and also you get the magazine. If you didn't get the magazine already, the preview issue is at Barnes & Noble at those locations or online. You can order it off the website. Um, we have two more recruits. Uh, I've seen these two kids play for three years. Whether they know it or not, I've seen them for three years. But Maurice O'Quinn has been a running back, a DB, a linebacker, a hybrid, a safety. Um, Jarrett Thomas has been a really a true linebacker, plays some fullback, running back uh, when they need him, right, to a little power, right? Jarrett, tell everybody how big you are right now, height and weight. I'm 6'1", 210 pounds. And you've been offered by some schools already. Yes, sir. I've it's been offered by Memphis, um, North Texas. Um, Alcorn State, you told Alcorn, me. Alcorn, ULL, and also... Um, ULM. So what is your observation of all these offers? Anybody stick out to you? Well, I've, I've been to ULL, and it's, it's, a, it's a good environment. You like environment. ULM? Environment. In, in Miami, too? Environment. It's been a good oh, environment. It, at, in Monroe? Yes, sir. Do you like ULL and what they're doing with all the victories? And oh, yes, sir. I went to the ULL and the Troy game. Okay. And you run, you run like a 4 six forty, right? I mean, you're pretty yes, sir. fast. What do you think of this guy next to you, the, oh. the athlete on the team? Oh, I, I love to block for him any day. <laughs> Mar good. Maurice, you have a reputation just watching you on film yes, sir. between the tackles for not a big guy to run hard. You know, I mean, you remind me of the little guy from Oregon State, Rogers. That went, yes. He's playing for the yes, Falcons sir. now. For the Falcons. Um, you know, you're 5'7", I guess, about 170. Five, seven. 170. And you run like you're 200 pounds. <laughs> I, I just love the contact in between the tackles. I mean, I just, I just love to run, run through people. Now, I know you might not time 4-4, four, four, but you look 4-4. Four, four. I mean, what's your real 40 time? I, I ran like three different 40 times. It, I, it's been like 4-5, four, 8-4, four, four, seven, then a 4-4-1. Four, four, what are you thinking when you run between the tackles and there's somebody 270 pounds waiting on you? Because I've seen you run over these guys. <laughs> I mean, do you do that with Jared in practice and these big linebackers at lab? Because <laughs> last year all four linebackers were over 200 pounds. Yes, sir. Uh, I had to run against them at practice, so it wasn't that easy. That's what that, gets that's, you ready for the opponent, right? Yes, sir. So you got Christian Life this week. Yes, sir. And Jared, what do you think of Christian Life and their little running back, Gerald Richardson? I mean, Joe Richard, he's, he's a good running back from what we looked at on film. So I know what I need to do to stop him. And they got Bartley, who I think you two know from school yes, prior, sir. right? Yeah. Didn't Frank Bartley go to Southern Lab at he one time? A, he was a kid. We're going to go ahead and go uh, to our caller. No, we, we're not going to go. Maurice, talk about who you like. And if you don't get a 1AA or D1 offer, would you be willing to go to a uh, a junior college for another season to play to improve your chances because I think you could sign if you if you did that if you well, could sign with a big school. Well, I like I like Jackson State and Alcorn and and Grambling, but I, 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 I love to go to ULM. Oh, well, Jared likes likes yeah. ULM. Yeah. We we'll go ahead and go. We got a caller, Donald. Donald, you're on Louisiana football. Do you have a question? Hello. Yeah, Donald, you do you have a question? Yeah, I'm on, uh, I like to know, yes, sir, uh, uh, I wanted to talk to Maurice Oakland. I mean, I wanted to know how does he run past defenders and run past defenders and be like, <laughs> and he just, he just turned loose him, man. How do you do it? It's, it's hard work and dedication and the love of the game. 
I just do it. I just do it from my heart. All right. Watching college football. Do you watch much football, college football? Yes, sir. Because a lot of high school kids, you, you, you practice all day. Some kids don't watch college football. But um, are there two better running backs in the United States than Trent Richardson, Alabama, and Spencer Ware of LSU? Uh, Trent Richardson. Trent Richardson. <laughs> Tough, huh? I've yes, seen, seen one of the runs he had last game. Ole Miss? Yeah. Yeah, that was a tough game for Ole Miss. Yes, um, 52 to what? Seven. 52 to seven. Or three. I don't know if they even scored a touchdown on that save. <laughs> um, but you know, the, the, you see the strength of these D1 guys are tough. They're not just running backs. I mean, they can go through guys your size mm -hmm. at safety. Yeah, you know, the safeties are 210 now in SEC. Yes, Isn't that amazing, Jared? Uh, yeah, I'd have, been close, I'd have been close to one in ULL. Mm -hmm. I seen one. I thought I, you know, I thought I fit in with the big linebacker crew. I, <laughs> they were way bigger than me. Now the Cajun people watch this show. All of Lafayette watch. Yes, sir. Would they be in your top two or three in recruiting right now? Yes, sir. They would. They would. And what coach is recruiting you at ULL? Do you know the? Uh, um. Have you talked to Hut Spiff, the head coach at ULL? I, I talked to him. I talked to the recruiting coach. Um, Name. Is it Coach Rebo? Coach Rebo, Rebo. that's who I talked to. From Louisiana. And Maurice, Alcorn State, was Spears recruiting you? He's a Louisiana native, right? Yes, sir. But you know my my former coach, coach there, Coach Roach. That's right. He's on the staff. He knows about all the players yes, on the yes, team. Sir. He coached you. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to the phone lines. We've got about a minute and a half left. Uh, Wayne, are you online or are you on the phone? Wayne? Yeah, Raymond. Raymond, do you have a question? We have about a minute left. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? I'm from uh, New Orleans. I wanted to ask Jared Thomas. Okay, go ahead. What's the best way he finds to read the offense during these plays? See, when I, when I read the offense, I read between the tackle and the guard. That's that's the main the main two people I read to because they'll take me through everything I need I need to know. Okay, look, we, we got a, it's, we're out of time, but I wanted to thank you guys to come on. I want to thank Superior Grill. These are the gift certificates that our coaches are going to get on us. You can use this in Baton Rouge. Go check out Superior Grill. Here's our shirts, guys. Good luck to you against Christian Life. Yes, sir. And uh, I know I'll be seeing you play D1 one day, and also probably you as well, Maurice. Hopefully yes. you'll, you'll be there as well. We'll see you next week, 6.30, every Tuesday on Cox 4. See you next week. I'm Lee Burkane with Louisiana Football TV Magazine. Be sure to watch our show every Tuesday night live at 6.30 and catch your replays at 10.30 at night. We've got the top recruits in the state every week, high school coaches, former pro players, and current pro players. Be sure to watch Louisiana Football TV Magazine on Cox Sports.